It's been more than a month since Ohio's heartbeat law took effect, a near all-out ban on abortion. The law allows abortions only to prevent death or serious health risks to the mother, an exception very similar to what Indiana's new abortion law will allow. But Dr. Tani Malhotra, a maternal field medicine doctor in Cleveland, says that exception is vague, leaving doctors with little clarity on when they can legally act. Do they have to be actively in the process of getting really sick? In those cases, we it's been a little bit clearer. But if it's not, if they're not imminently getting sick, the law becomes extremely murky. So now, instead of making these decisions themselves, Malhotra says they're checking in with lawyers to ensure they can legally offer life-saving care. They're going through a complication and then we're telling them, wait, you're just not sick enough for us to intervene yet. It is just devastating. And just how serious that health threat has to be isn't clear. Does it have to be 25%? Does it have to be 50%? Or does it have to be 100%? And by the time we're waiting for someone to actively be dying in front of us, we've already made their outcomes significantly worse. She says she and other Ohio doctors dealt with these tough decisions immediately after their state law took effect. Soon, physicians here will face similar challenges when Indiana's abortion ban begins September 15th. And we took an oath to do no harm, and now we're waiting for enough harm to occur before we can do what needs to be done to not let them be harmed.